Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Dan Wesson firearm. Now I have reviewed very few Dan Wesson firearms. The closest I've come to a Dan Wesson was a SHOT Show review, but not now. This is the newest 1911 chambered in 10mm from Dan Wesson called the Kodiak. Get a load of this. High end people. I'm just going to get this out there right now. The MSRP on this is... $2,349. So, you know, he said, I, I'm pretty sure that Dan Wesson knows the market that they are trying to reach with this. People love 10 millimeter. People love 1911s. And they have their own following like many other gun companies do. And like, I know some people that swear by Dan Wesson's. That's all they want to Dan Wesson. And if they want one in 10 millimeter, they have it now with the Kodiak right here. Let's talk about this and we'll see how impressed you are because, uh, you know, the look itself is unique. If you haven't noticed already, the barrel length is longer than your standard 1911. It's a six inch barrel and that slide is a matte finish. Right there it says Kodiak engraved. A stainless frame that is black and bronze controls. We'll see if the light can pick that up. How about right there? Bronze controls. And it is ambi. So we can see that lefties have the option of using that thumb safety just as well. It also has an accessory rail right there. But the one thing that I find amazing, 8-round magazine, by the way, is check this out. Okay, I already showed clear here. But when, when you look at this, this is a... a bull barrel okay no barrel bushing or anything like that but but look at how fine this is machine i'm gonna keep it at this angle here like there is very little daylight between the barrel and the slide it is just so finely cut and i i'm just you know when my ffl transferred this to me he said you're about ready to experience the the most precise 1911 you have ever experienced and i said what do you mean you know come on it's 1911 i've seen them all he said the dan wesson is pretty amazing now the trigger on this i measure right at four and a half pounds okay no skeletonized or anything like that a little different cut with the hammer kind of cool looking right does have some serrations on top there but four and a half pounds and a very smooth and no over travel at all like once once that breaks it breaks there is nothing left there and then uh eight rounds it does have a flared magwell right here all right for quick reloads comes with two eight round magazines so you can see the the magwell is flared a bit all right slide that right in there and there you go and it also has this lip that extends a little bit out there Flat mainspring housing, of course, you've got your grip safety right there. And the rear sight is adjustable. And, you know, you would expect that it would be, but it's also branded. It says Dan Wesson right there. So this is an OEM Dan Wesson rear sight. Fiber optic front sight. And a, a very nice package with the G10 grips. It's a beautiful looking gun and it has some weight. Behind it, there is no doubt about Well, let's check that out right now. I, I don't have any 10 millimeter now to throw on there. But we'll check this out. Two pounds, 15 and a half ounces. For those who need ounces, 47 and 3 eighths or 47 and a half, somewhere in there. But I want to I do one more thing here. I want to show you how this breaks down. Now, I struggled with this a little bit. I struggled with this because, you know, I, I like to think, oh, I can take down any 1911. For me, it's easy, right? You know, you tend to, but then you, you get it to this point where you, you push the pin out, all right? So I push the pin out. It sticks there. But what you have to do is drop the slide and then pull the rest out and then the slide, and they'll come right off and there's your frame. Just like that. I had to play around with this quite a bit to figure that out. It was actually kind of hard. And then here we have a GI guide rod. And get wait till you see. Look at the length of this recoil spring. Have you ever seen anything that big? And then that does have a bushing. 
right here all right that's your recoil spring bushing and so when you look at the muzzle end you see this flat piece right here and then you put the link down and pull out the barrel just like this and there's your six inch barrel with the barrel lugs and your barrel lugs in there keep everything nice and tight get a, like this thing is a massive massive piece of machinery that that people feel so strong about you know dan wesson fans let me tell you something guys i know a lot of you guys may have scoffed at the msrp and i don't blame you i mean that's quite natural i would say i certainly did i mean <laughs> it's a it's a expensive handgun there's no question about that but the the amount of fans that dan weston has is substantial and many of them are are only interested in dan weston you can see i got the link stuck there i'm just gonna pull it out just like that and there we go and we'll put this back on it's a beautiful beautiful handgun we'll find that link right there and pull this back a little bit right there and we'll put this Oh, may have lost it here there we go all right so i was easily able to put that back in it's hard when you're looking through the viewfinder of the camera because you try to keep everything centered and those of you who make videos know that but there it is guys dan wesson kodiak 10 millimeter 1911 just a beautiful handgun and I'll be firing this at the range and bringing you guys along for the ride. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.